Welcome back. Well, I haven't done a video in a while, so it's time. What can you say about this? Since tomorrow's Valentine's Day, it seemed appropriate. So, okay. In this video, I'm going to talk about what is absolute and incremental. What's the difference? And this is going to be for the Haas CNC lathe. As a beginner, it's kind of confusing. Um, so this might be a, like a beginner to a little more advanced. So I wanted to at least kind of explain it. And what's the difference? Well, absolute is your X and Z moves. So when you're writing a program and you're giving it the coordinates that you want it to go and you're using X and Z, that is known as absolute. Incremental is a U and W code. So U and W. What's that? The U is going to be X, the W is going to be Z. So I would have a program set aside and especially when I had to cut up bar stock, I would have to cut up, I don't know, say 20 bars and then you have to put like a little chamfer on the end and I would keep a program. Ah, my cat's driving me nuts. Um, so I would keep a program and when I needed to put a lead in on a piece of bar because we had bar feeders on all of our machines. So I would keep a program, I would cut and paste it into MDI, which is manual data input, and just run all the bars, just put them in at a, I'd have like a little T-square or something and just put up against a chuck, clamp it, and then figure out where I wanted to start the cut as far as putting my chamfers on. Say, your bar stock is, I don't know, we'll say it's two inches in diameter. And you wanna put a nice lead in as far as maybe a quarter of an inch lead in. So we know like this is gonna be, a, this surface here is going to be a G54 part zero. So whatever, whatever you set that up as, that's going to be your zero surface. So if we're going to do a quarter inch lead in, we already remember in previous videos I explained on your X axis, everything is doubled. So quarter inch, obviously times two, So you're going to take 0.500, subtract it from 2 inches, so we get 1.5, and we already know we want to go a quarter inch in, so yeah, that's a nice lead in, uh, it's not like, you can go more or less, it depends on the spindle liner, how much... Uh, if, the, if you got a lot of room in there, you're probably gonna need a bigger chamfer so when it comes out of the liner, it doesn't get caught up on anything. So how would we write that? Well, if you're doing an absolute, we're gonna say, I don't know, we'll say tool one, offset one. Uh, let's say, I'll just make this something up super quick. We'll do a G50, I don't know, we'll say S, 1500. Uh, we want to start the spindle uh, 500 RPMs. And sorry, I'm running out of room. That's an M03. And uh, we want to wrap it. Say, we're, say the turret's way over here. We'll wrap it Z. Well, eh, we'll just say 0.010. 
it's over ten thousandths in front of that surface. And uh, I don't know, we'll turn on surface speed. Uh, let's say we'll call it, I don't know, we'll say 400. Okay, depends what the material you're using too. Steel, aluminum, that, they all got different surface speeds. Okay, so enough, enough of that nonsense. So now we're gonna, we'll wrap it down to X. Uh, we know the part's two inches, uh, we'll say 2.2. I have the coolant turn on. Now let's feed down to X, negative 0 0.062, feed rate, uh, we'll say, we'll say, oh, you know, 8 thousandths per revolution. Now, that's been explained in previous videos, and if you didn't see that, I, uh, I'd like you to go back and check it out. Got tongue-tied there for a minute. And, uh, okay, so now we're going to feed into Z0. And now we'll go up to X 1.5. Well, yeah, let's see here. And then we'll go X 2.0, Z negative 0.250. And I'll keep the feed rate all the same. And then we'll just have it go off, uh, we'll say X 2.0. 050, which is 50 thousandths above the diameter of the part, and we'll just go Z negative. Um, see, we're already 250, we'll add 100 on that, so say 350, 0.350, and then from there on out, you just finish up your program, you know, have it rapid X, whatever, like 10 inches up, and then we'll have it go back out of the way and all that stuff, and that's kind of been explained in previous videos. So we'll call that, that's absolute programming. Now, if we wanted to do it in incremental, uh, I deleted part of my other uh, video because it wasn't explained as, as thorough as I would like to have done it. So if you just wanted to write a super quick, I just want the, the cutter to come in, I want to be in front of the part far enough so I don't have to face it and just do a, a quick chamfer and then get off and call it done. Because this is primarily just, uh, I'm making this video say you're just chamfering bar stock just to get a lead in. So let's say, you know, we wanted to do a quarter inch chamfer and, and you know, we already figured out that, you know, that double is 500 subtracted from two inches give you 1.5. Now let's say, let me get rid of this thing. So let's say we wrap it to 200 thousands in front of the part. So we're really safe distance in front of the part. So if you came wrapping in, wrapping down, and you had everything preset, you know, using a T-square or some other device, you can do this very quickly. So I'm 200 thousandths in front of the part. I'm wrapping down to X 2.2. You could actually wrap it, well, I'll just make it simple for this. So say I wanna do a feed move. Here's where it gets tricky. I already know that I'm 200 thousandths in front of the part. Now, 200 thousandths double is 400. So I'm gonna take 400 and subtract it from the 1.5. So that gives me 1.1. So X 1.1. I'll do a feed move of 20 thousandths revolution just to get it down there. If you wanted to wrap it to there, it's fine. So now, and then from this, this point, you have to calculate this whole entire travel, and it's super easy. You already know your 200 thousandths in front of the part, so you got that. You got your 250, so now you're at 450 thousandths. And I'm going to go an extra 50 thousandths off of that, just to make sure this part's cleaned up and I'm, I'm off of the surface. So let's say we add 50 thousandths. 
that whole total is 500 thousands. So we know your, your next move, your W incremental move, is negative 500. So, what's my U, my U incremental move? All you're doing, oop, let me get this out of the way. So now, just if you're doing a 45, all you're gonna do is double that. So your U code is gonna be 1.0, one inch. And we'll do a feed rate of, uh, we'll call it eight thousands, that whole cut. You can go faster, I'm just throwing that in. So, in theory, does this sound confusing? Well, it might. So let's take a look. We're starting at 1.1. You're adding one inch. So now what's that come out to? That comes out to 2.1. So our stock is at two inches. You just fed off, you're feeding off over the diameter by 50 thousandths. So in theory, you just did a super quick, I came in, came down, and just did a quick little chamfer, and now I'm done. We'll just have the coolant, uh, well, I'm sorry, we'll uh, have it rapid X 10 point, just from 10 inches from spindle center. That could vary. And uh, we'll have the coolant turn off. We'll have, since we're already in rapid, we'll have a rapid to Z10. Have the spindle turn off, which is an M M05. Uh, we'll cancel the tool. Oops, 10 uh, T100. And just have it rewind back to the top with an M30. So that's, and I hope that doesn't sound confusing. So as a recap, just remember if you're doing incremental you can start way out here just remember whatever distance this is just double it on your x so i already know i want that as far as at least a quarter inch uh chamfer i found two hundred thousands in front now i have to double it on my x-axis which is four hundred thousands subtracted from this which gives you that and that's your starting point from out here and then you just add your totals as far as 200 here 250 here plus another 50 to go off 500 and then that's that right there and then 500 times two one inch and that's it so yeah i mean it do you need to use it? No, it's just sometimes it's just a good if you once you get familiar with doing it, it's just a quick alternative. So I hope that wasn't too confusing, and I do appreciate you guys sticking around. I know this video is a little long, and um, I apologize about that, but I just want to make sure you kind of grasp uh, grasp that whole thing because it it does get confusing when you're not used to that kind of stuff. So, okay, other than that, thanks again. Uh, I appreciate you guys stopping by. I'll have more videos coming out, um, hopefully not too long, and I'll start diving into more, uh, you know, like other codes that are used often, and um, we'll go from there. Thanks again. We'll see you again soon.